you want to be more extravagant? <laughs> I'm travesty! <laughs> Yo! Wagwan, what are you telling me? What's good? Don't know why I said that, because your camera. Bruh, spill my drink. I'm Travis J. I'm KG. I'm <laughs> drunk though. This, this is like number eight. Regardless of what you say in the show, drink responsibly, yeah? Hella, hella turned <laughs> up over there. You man, are, you man are looking like you're hella turned. What are you saying? So are you, bro. bro you are looking crazy, <laughs> but differently. Mm. If you're drunk, give us some history, I man. Boom. All right, let's talk. What well, you know about Len Johnson, bro? LJ. A absolutely nothing. We're going to talk to you today yeah, yeah. about mad history. Len Johnson, fam. Woo! Middleweight boxing man. <laughs> Uncrowned champ. Uncrowned That's what King, we're bringing fam. to you. Yeah, what are you saying? Tell me about it, man. KG. Mm. Uncrowned champ. Boom! LJ. 1902 is when he was born. Manchester. He's like, I go work in a factory. Goes to the factory, someone's in there, and obviously, like, he's being racist. He said, you're black, you can't work here. You're having a laugh. You're having a bubble bath, mate. And he's like, but I'm Len Johnson, because he knew his name. So he started scrapping. Okay. He gave him the backward fists. And he went, bop, bop, mm. bop, bop, uppercut, boom. All right. He's asleep. That's what the crowd was saying, because Good the crowd man. were gassed. The crowd was excited. Smoked his colleague. Finished. All right, so boom, hear this now, yeah? Mm. He's turned pro. Smoking man's boots, bro. Man, a guy sleep. Donnie's sourcing, bro. You know when the footwork is nuts? Len Johnson's giving footwork that they hadn't seen at like the time. Muhammad Ali kind he's of giving them R&B footwork. He's giving them back from the footwork. Mm. To the side. He's sourcing. Step back. Yeah? Move. Bang. These men are doing forward, backwards, forward, backwards. Boom. There's a brother called Ted Lewis, yeah? With the British belt. And the way you can't just say Ted Lewis without understanding who Ted Lewis yeah. is. Right now, if you think of history, then man rated him. Everyone rates him. To the point mm. that Iron Mike, Mike Tyson, what when he, he talks about, about Ted Lewis, he's like, you know, Ted Lewis is one of the greatest fighters that ever to come out of the UK. I always look at Ted Lewis when I think about my fight. He's an amazing fighter. That's how Mike Tyson was giving up. So it's a big fight. Boom! The fight's happening. Rumble in Mancunia. Yeah? That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> So now they're in the ring. Understand, yeah? <laughs> this is before Graham, yeah? But he created inside. That was his thing. Because he'll bang man, blah, inside. <laughs> blah, 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 inside. Every time Ted's getting hit, he's like, I don't understand. Yeah. Don't get it. He does not understand his style What's going on? They was upset, bro. They never, they haven't seen this before. Len's just underneath it. Rolling. Rolling. Underneath it. Slip, slip, slip. Later, he smoked his boots. After the fight now, Len is walking around saying, where's my belt? Where's my belt? Where's and my belt? somebody comes up to him and says, hello, excuse me, sir. Um, the belt that you won, you didn't actually win because um, that belt actually belongs to the champion because you're not white. What was magic? In 1911, the British Board of Boxing Control, they had the color bar rule, influenced by Winston Churchill then times, yeah? Basically, if you, to fight for a belt, you need to have two white two parents. White parents you imagine how like... that is? You can't even fight for a belt because so, your skin colour is darker no. than other people's skin colour. So, he hear the thing though. It gets deeper. Ted gets his belt back. And Ted's like, obviously, I'm white. I deserve the belt. They said, unfortunately, Len, we are unable to give you the championship belt. He looked at the boxing board of control in the face and said, you man, or you man, boxing board of control. He run off, come back again and said, no. nah, you in the back, the big d One in the back was the most violent. The one in the one. back was a d He said, I'm gone, I'm getting Australia. So he's gone down under. You look, mate, you're black, we don't care. Come in, let's fight. No one's expecting him to win this belt. That's right. But, but, shut up. All right. Smoked him. Why it was nice here is mm. this belt that he fought for, yeah? The British Empire belt? British Empire belt. Ooh. It even sounds exciting. So he fought for the British Empire belt? Which is now known as the Commonwealth belt. Man's pulled up back onto the UK shores. So he's gone back to the British border control. He's so like, listen, you see my belt around the waist? <laughs> I'm the guy, cuz. Commonwealth thing. Rate me now. You lot were chatting sh in it. And that in the back, I've now got the British Empire Championship. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. So the British Board of Boxing Control, they've had a meeting. He sat down in front of him and he said, listen, unfortunately, mate, 
We have reviewed it. We have looked at the policies. Unfortunately, we can't register you as a champion. So what so, we're gonna do? So the man you've beaten, yeah? That's gonna sound crazy to you. But the man you beat, he is now the Commonwealth champion. Penalty is of being black, boy. <laughs> Then that's the black penalty there. Listen. Disqualified for being black. He was frustrated. Bro. He's like, guilty by being black. That's he crazy. said, this is what he did, yeah? Look at, because you know when, when black frustration really gets nuts and you have to do it with, like, uh, with facial expressions and hands and not even sounds. He's like, ha! <laughs> you, man! I thought bear rounds, you know? And now you're moving mad. This boxing thing is dead. Button this thing. I retire. He cut. Yeah, so now he's not living the boxing life. He's going down the pub. So imagine Saturday night, he's at the pub. He's like, listen, babes, what are you telling me? Let me get a couple pints for the man then. Okay, first things first, I know your babes. You're black. <laughs> right, that's mad. All right, don't worry about that. Let me get two pints, one disarono, one coke, because he's a d over there. <laughs> you're, not, you're not drinking it because it's rules. And you are coloured. Babes, <laughs> I'm Big Len Johnson, you know. Give him a juice. No. Yeah! Raw. So Len Johnson stepped out. He's like, you know what? This is mad. I'm not having that. I'm Len Johnson. So he phoned the man then. My guy, what are you telling me? Boom, what's good, cuz? Big man. Mm. Listen, I need you to run up the man then. Why what? Not? How many man? What, 150, 200? 150, 150 you, man! Whatever you can do, bro. Say nothing. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna pull up with 120, cuz. Calm, that's fine. 7 30 pm, we're gonna run up on the pub, bro. They try not to serve man drinks. They what? Don't, a no whole you? A whole man with a British Empire belt? Big, Say nothing. Big me, bro. Yeah, Put, yeah. I'm putting down the phone aggressively. Lovely. Bam! Calm. Obviously, 120 man's coming. I need more man, innit? So I need to phone my white allies. Hello, is that Gary? Hello. Hi. Hello, mate. How Hi. are you? Hi. <laughs> Lenny. <laughs> Good to hear your voice. I trust you're well. I'm not well, actually, because I've heard what happened to you. That's unfortunate. Listen, mate, 7.30 p.m., if you're around, I uh, would love to tackle an issue I encountered earlier on today. OK. Where is that the same pub? I'll send you the information via Telegram. <laughs> See you All later. Right. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Take care. Turn down the phone. Bye Less bye. aggressively. Boom. <laughs> Less aggressively. Less okay, aggressively. Cool. Seven thirty p.m. rolls up. Len Johnson and the man them pull up. They're on smoke. Two hundred like, man. That's crazy. Do you know how hard it is to talk to two hundred men and get them to all agree? Bro, but everyone said enough's enough. And they've influenced pubs across the land, fam. What to allow black people to drink? Exactly. Len yeah, Johnson was a whole activist back then. He felt the racial oppression of not being able to compete in the sport mm. that he was good at and now dedicated his life to civil rights activism. Black British fighters, they stand on the shoulders of Len Johnson. And we don't know him, but we know him now. Yeah, so let's toast. Man know him now for let's real, toast man. to LJ. Let's toast to LJ. And hopefully, the British Board of Boxing Control will overturn that decision give and him give him the belt. British they title that he deserves. Give him his title, man. That's I a shout. It. And I'm ready.